So we got ourselves a little bit of an update on Chuck Sizzle. And this actually came from last night's game versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was walking around with a sleeve on his white right leg. Walking around with teammates during warm-ups. Now, he did not play last night. Obviously, if you do not remember, he did get caught off the field in process. Our first 7-on-7 seven -seven drill in Paycor Stadium. And he did get injured, which, again, it sucks. It is what it is at the end of the day. You can't prevent injuries. They're just unlucky things that happen, right? But with that being said, at least we have somewhat of a good update. Even if he didn't play last night, at least he was able to, you know, walk around and he looks like he's okay. So this is him right here, Chuck Sizzle that is. And you can see he does have what looks like a compression sleeve all the way um, on his right leg. So not even just like an isolated area. It's his whole entire right leg that is covered. Now, based on what we understand, this is a knee injury. Um, he, put, he did not like actually risk big injury he actually avoided any serious injury here and any serious problems so that's a beautiful sight because again you know can't have that happen especially with a super bowl year we need all of our guys 100 percent but this did give last night a little bit of opportunity for some other players to kick and punt return we did see on punt we didn't see many punt returns actually because um yeah they it was, it was a weird night, okay? It was a very bad night for our defense overall-wise, but this would have given more chances for those guys to get more punt returns. But overall-wise, will he play in Week 2 of the preseason? We don't know yet. Right now, he is week-to-week, -week, so we have to kind of see what ends up happening, but... Hopefully, we see some passes this week from him. Um, my guess is he'll probably be in a very limited fashion, process-wise. Um, honestly, there's no reason to push him or do anything that could risk re-injury at this point. So, this week, we do process versus the Chicago Bears in a joint process. Um, so it should be interesting to see if he does get some reps and some, you know, looks. But again, with joint processes, the danger is always injuries because you got two teams that are very competitive going head to head in process. And there's always a chance someone hits someone after the whistle. Someone goes across the middle of the field. They get absolutely blown up on the play. And next thing you know, now you have another injury, you know, that happens. So it's, it's, it's always interesting when it comes to joint processes so again like i said we'll have to wait to see what zach says about this but my guess is we're probably not going to see much of him in joint process and maybe not much of him in at least week two of the preseason we'll probably definitely see him in week three but based on what we saw last night from like you know that one drive we saw marius mims and some other guys got very limited to no actual like time playing Zach is like very lenient right now. Like he's giving us, you know, our starters in the preseason, but he's like giving us like a two minute trial run. Like it is the most <laughs> lenient preseason debuts we have ever seen. Um, which I'm so happy we're getting some, you know, actual starters in the preseason. That is always good. But it is such a small amount, man. Like, when you really think about last night and how little our starters actually played, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But at the same time, hey, you don't want to risk injury. You don't want to put a guys out there for too long and, you know, have any problems, especially in a game that doesn't count. But I think last night, even with our starters, we have some things to actually take away. And we have some things we got to work on. But for Chuck Sizzle... Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Again, like I said, it sucks because he was having a really good training camp so far. And he was making a name for himself to potentially become that, you know, kind of competing with Trenton Irwin for that slot role. But I think now with all the setbacks and injuries, we'll see if he ends up becoming that slot guy. Or if he ends up in the end just becoming a... Um, just a punt returner, exclusively punt returner. And Jermaine Burton last night definitely made a name for himself right away with uh, Logan Woodside absolutely hitting him on that deep bomb. So, again, like I said, there's a lot of things taking consideration after last night. We don't like to look too much into week one of preseason and take away too much. 
but there are there is a certain degree where you got to take away some things and you know consistency is everything and that's really what we have been preaching forever so tell me down below your thoughts opinions i got i'll see you guys in the next one peace out